That's not a bad view to wake up to. So my mum very kindly treated me to a Yankee Candle advent calendar. So I'm going to open it and that's number one. I can't remember the last time I had an advent calendar, as you can see by my inability to open it. Um, there's six different scents and this one. Uh, couldn't tell you what it is, but it smells really nice. So I'm going to like that now. This is basically what getting dressed in the morning entails. Are you not gonna? She knows she's being filmed. Nope. Not today, Satan. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> So I thought I would give you a quick look at what I'm wearing today and it is a, a hand knitted cardigan that my mum made for me. It's the Hortensia by Andy Sutherland of Untangling Knots. I've also got a ready to wear dress from Dorothy Perkins on which I love so I'm definitely going to copy. I've got a long sleeved high necked top on from Next. I've got a vest on underneath and tights. I have uh, my flats on because I will be cutting out all day so I can't wear any high heels because I'll be too tall for my table. Um, really lovely scarf that my mum bought back for me from uh, Saudi Arabia and this amazing um, basically what well, it's a walking blanket and um, my mum knit this for herself and she forgot to measure herself and it didn't fit and so I got it so yes I have a secret blanket that I get to wear all day and this is generally what I'm having to wrap myself up in so that I don't freeze at work Hey peeps, welcome to day one of Vlogmas. Um, I'm going to attempt this uh, given it's I have a dying phone, the battery is dying on it and that is the busiest time of year for me. I am clearly certifiable so someone please slap me um, but I thought it might be interesting to see what a really busy period would be like for someone who does this for a living so yeah wish me luck. So I realised I've not actually shown you guys where I work. So, if you're ever on the Isle of Wight, come to the House of Chile or Hollier's Park, and there is the super glamorous Pond Tunnel. And I'm starting the day with the world's healthiest breakfast. Bluebell! Hello! Hello! Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Really like. So basically it's organised chaos here. Do a quick spin round. I have a million things to do and I generally start my day by writing my to-do list. Um, which gives me great pleasure when I get to take things off. So yeah, let's start with all the cutting out. Wish me luck. Finally getting to cut out something slightly more interesting than muslin. I'm bloody starving, so I'm going to the naughty bus for lunch. Okay, so nobody warned me how silly I would feel talking to um, my phone and wandering around at the same time. So yeah, this vlogging is going to take quite a bit of getting used to. Um, I'm probably going cross-eyed as well. Um, I have got three muslins cut out. I am just having some lunch now and then I am going to cut out... Um, <laughs> I've got to look at the right thing. Look, going to cut out um, the lining for a coat and also a skirt, which I will be showing you the fabric in my December fabric haul. So, yeah, that's what's up next. Vanini time! Finally getting to do some sewing! Yay! 
So I've just finished stitching the lining to the main fabric of my bodice and I've understitched it. I've clipped the curves, which you can see here. It's been understitched and pressed. So I'm now sewing the armholes together and I like, because I won't be able to understitch this, I like to offset the lining by about an eighth of an inch, which just means that when I turn everything the right way around, the lining is more inclined to roll through to the inside and won't peek through. At least that's what I have found. So I just thought you might be interested in that. So I've sewn my side seams, sorry, my armholes and my neckline all together. As you can see, I've overlapped that little bit there so that the lining is gonna just be a little bit smaller. And now it's my favorite part. And get to do magic or I call it magic anyway so kind of reach in and you want to pull the back portion of the bodice through and there's one side, and you obviously, obviously ooh, battery's running low again, you do this from the front and pull the back pieces from the front, from the back to the front, if that makes sense, kind of waffling now. Once you've done that, you have a cleanly finished neckline, and once they've been pressed, a cleanly finished armhole. So I've just pressed everything, and as you can see, um, it kind of rolls into underneath. I hope you can see that. I'm going cross side again. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to sew up the side seams. So I'm home, late night shopping's finished, it's around about 8.30 at night. Um, I have come home to this. She's not allowed. Are you? You know you're being bad. Um, I am now off to the neighbour's house as it is book club this evening. So I am going to go and talk about Captain Corelli's Mandolin, which, oh look, there's the dog. Technically I have read, but it was about five years ago and I don't remember very much of it other than I enjoyed it. So I'm going to go and listen to everybody else, drink some wine and eat some nibbles. I shall see you when I get back. So I'm home, um, that was loads of fun actually, uh, the book was very highly rated, so if you fancy and have not read Captain Corelli's Mandolin, um, it's very highly recommended, um, don't judge it by its film, although you can say that for most books. Um, I have got a few emails to write, I am going to try and edit this this evening. And I'm gonna call it a night. So hopefully this has been interesting. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see how well I do with Vlogmas. Fingers crossed, I make it daily, but we shall see. Anyway, night night peeps, I will see you very soon. Bye.